Okay, we're gonna throw our valves inside our cylinder head here today so we can mount our cylinder head on our engine. The valves are out in front of me right now with their valve springs and they were matched up when they came off. So if you remove um, 24 valve springs and valves from a head on a car, you wanna put them back in the same spot. Here I only have one exhaust valve and one intake valve. And between the two valves, the intake valve has a bigger diameter. It's a bigger valve. Also, just because this engine has ran before, you can see that one has black soot on it and one's almost perfectly clean. The black soot is gonna build up on the exhaust valve. That clean one is gonna be on the intake valve. These bolts over here represent where the carburetor go on the side of the, on the, side of the cylinder block. This is where the exhaust system or the muffler goes on the side of the, the cylinder head. So I think I have this orientated right where this is my intake side and this is my exhaust side. My valves, if I was servicing them on a car and had a machine to pop, properly grind them, I could grind the valves, okay? I can use a compound called lapping, which pretty much is a, a gritty, uh, lube that I would put on there and spin it in its seat and seat itself but these valves are going to be in about as good a shape as I can get just because this, these uh, motors have practically zero hours on them if they've ran for 10 minutes I'd be surprised so we're just going to put them together knowing that if you had your own vehicle you might have to do something else I'm going to put a little bit of this engine lube on the valve stem because the valve stem is going to be contacting the valve guide inside of there, okay? And this will just have things slide together a lot better. So this is the bigger valve going into the bigger guide hole. So you can see that I've slid that valve into place and it comes through the other side. For everybody here, they might be able to hear this or feel this a little bit better. If I wanted to know how well a valve um, fit. Think of this as a piston and the hole that it goes into as a cylinder. If I plug my finger over the end when I pull this out, you guys hear that? It should create a seal and create suction. I felt the suction on my finger and then it made that pop noise as it, was, as it came out. Okay? Vice versa, if I push it in this way, I should feel a little bit of pressure on my finger. So as I slide the valve in and out, I'm actually feeling suction and pressure on my finger, which means that that's actually sealed really, really well. Okay, so that's one. And I would want probably both valves to feel around the same. Now, if you don't get that feeling with your engine, it's probably because your valve guys or your valves are worn out. Okay, so I'm gonna slide my exhaust valve into the exhaust valve guide, and then I'm going to Okay, pull that off there, and everybody here could hear the cute little noise it makes. Okay, so here we are. Now I've been careful during this process to make sure I kept the springs for the intake side with the intake valve and vice versa. What you need to see is that on top of the valve, there's a valve seal on one of the valves and not the other. A valve seal not on the other this side is bare this side here has a valve seal guys do you remember what side this is the valve Exhaust. this side here just say the opposite of what you just said intake. the intake why would the intake have a seal on the exhaust or on the valve but not the exhaust Up here, there's engine oil. The intake valve is going to have that suction in there. And the piston is able to suck oil past the valve stem and on top of the piston and burn it. Okay? The exhaust valve doesn't need that just because the pressure that's behind the exhaust valve doesn't support the same thing. Okay? But on these small engines, we have valve seals only on the intake valves. On a car, we have them on the intake and the exhaust valves, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my valve springs and retainers on, 
my retainers for everybody here can easily see that there's a big hole on one side and then a, a small hole right beside it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna push the valve spring over the big hole and then just simply move it over. Okay, until it's sitting there in the middle. You would need a valve spring compressor for a car, but with these small Honda engines, you can just do it with your fingers and it's easier than getting another tool in there. So, I'll try it again. Of course, I'm struggling. Nothing, nothing wrong with some good old fashioned struggling. Okay. And those are pushed in now. I can push the valves open from this side and the valve spring closes the valves. All right, um, that's installing the valves. The exhaust valve, sorry, on this side, has a little cap that goes on there and causes the valve to turn when the engine's running. It's called a valve rotator. The reason the exhaust valve would want to turn is so it's not always trying to seal in the exact same spot all the time. It helps clean the carbon off the exhaust valve and promote even wear. And that's putting together your valves and your cylinder head.